Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Armani. Welcome to Wolf TV. Here's the news for Thursday, March 14th, 2024. That's right, everyone. Spring break is almost here. Just one more day and you don't have to worry about school for nine whole days. I can't wait and we hope all of you have a wolf -tastic break. Make sure to have plenty of fun. And don't forget to go out with your friends to enjoy your break. Wolves, the deadline for celebrating excellence is tomorrow. It's not too late to show off your talents and submit a project for fabulous prizes. That's right. Just look at all the categories you could choose from to show off your special talents. There are even two new you can enter, Student Film and Innovation Solutions. Go to the Celebrating Excellence website at mywps.org slash CE for more information. Or contact Jen Rizzo at jrizzo at mywps.org. <clears throat> now let's check in with Vinny for the latest in Westy Sports. Hey Wolves, I'm Vinny and this is our Westy Sports Report. Tomorrow the track and field team will be at Bryan High School for the Mercury Track Invitation. The action gets underway at 11 and we'll know you crush your wolf. Now let's check in with Josiah and see what our library has to offer this week. This week's book, A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik, is set at a magical school for the magically gifted where failure meet, meets certain death until one girl, Elle, begins to unlock its many secrets. There are no teachers, no holidays, no friendships. Survival is more important than any letter grade. The rules are deceptively simple. Don't walk the hallways alone and beware of the monsters who lurk everywhere. Elle is uniquely prepared for her school's dangers. She may be without allies, but she possesses a dark power strong enough to level mountains and wipe out millions. It would be easy enough for Elle to defeat the monsters that prowl the school. The problem? Her powerful dark magic might kill all the other students. Sound interesting? Check it out in the library today. Meet your basketball player number 24, Brooke Gomez. During the season, she scored an incredible 444 points. Even though she missed a year due to injury, she is still the best in the game. She shows great leadership with her teammates and you can see that she is the fastest on the court and a quick thinker. This is what makes her a great basketball player. She has earned three player of the game awards and she has signed to play college ball at Washburn. Over the course of her Westie career, she scored a total of 787 points. That makes her stand out as an amazing basketball player on and off the court. Shout out to this awesome player and her team. Hey everybody, I'm back with the Sports Billboard. These events will be perfect for you if you have nothing to do this break. Before we go, congratulate Ramonda Arcos, his raised daughter, Adrian Banerall, Andrew Rantara, from the fifth period, Audio Bio, who mentioned to Blast. He wrote, shot, he do a PSA from the national competition just for they receive honorable mention for the mentory. Let's take a look. I would choose not to drive impaired or drive with someone who's impaired because I have dreams. I want a future. I want to be a collegiate athlete while pursuing veterinary science. Driving impaired or driving with someone who is impaired could put my future and my dreams in jeopardy. That's my life. Great job, Wolves. And that's it for today's Wolf TV. Thanks for watching. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Armani. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. 
have a spectacular break.